This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mark Linsangen from Techno Buffalo, and Google I.O. is come and gone, headlined by the announcement of Android M. We did a video on Google's new OS shortly after it came out, which we'll leave a link down below this video. But today, we'll be showing you guys five features, secret features, that Google didn't show off during the keynote. Number one on our list is the dark and light theme. Google's overall UI has been steadily getting brighter and brighter with a move to a white system theme in Android Lollipop. Luckily, Android M now offers an option to switch between a light and dark theme. The theme option inside developers option has settings for light, which is the default, dark, and automatic. If you enable dark mode, all the settings screens will switch over to material dark, and as far as we can tell, it doesn't affect any other apps or any part of the device. Also, we're not entirely sure what automatic setting does, but we're assuming it'll somehow switch from light to dark at a predetermined time, like at night. Keep in mind that this is a developer preview, so what we're showing you right now could be scrapped altogether. Hopefully we'll see this in the final release. And Google, if you're watching this, please keep this feature. Number two is to turn on or off Doze on a per app basis. One of Google's big projects for Android M is battery optimization, and it's doing this by implementing a new feature called Doze that essentially puts unneeded apps into an ultra low power state. Doze should be smart enough to wake apps up when they have a high priority action it performs, so even if your alarm app has been dozing, it'll still work. However, if you want a certain app to ignore Doze and want it to run in the background at all times, you can disable Doze on a per app basis by heading into settings, battery, ignore optimizations, and going into all apps. It's a nice feature to have, though we don't really see an advantage for this feature just yet. Number three on our list is the new RAM manager. Android does a pretty decent job of managing its memory, but unfortunately, it doesn't really show you what app is using the most RAM. In Android M, there's a new RAM manager that shows a detailed overview of what apps are always running and how much memory an app uses on average. Here, you can check up on what app is eating all the memory, and you can of course stop or force stop the app if you're experiencing slowdowns. Now to get to this page, you can head on over to the settings app, going into apps, tap the three dots at the top, going into advanced and going to memory. Number four on our list is do not disturb mode. During Google I.O., Google highlighted the simplified volume controls, which now brings up the volume slider with an arrow that expands the menu to give you controls over alarms, notifications, and media separately. One thing that Google didn't talk about is the addition of Do Not Disturb mode. D&D first arrived with Android L, though the final version of Lollipop referred to this functionality as priority interruptions. D&D and Android M pretty much offers the same basic functionality as the previous interruption options, but there's a few interesting changes as well, including a new repeat callers option that lets the caller through if they call back within 15 minutes, and automatic rules that give you some basic options of when to turn on do not disturb mode automatically, like on the weekends, weeknights, or during weekly meetings. You can enable do not disturb mode by either holding the volume button down or toggling it through the quick settings menu. Now to access the new D&D settings, you can head on over to sounds and notifications and go into do not disturb. Let me stop the video real fast and thank our friends over at domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting email needs. Domain wants to hook our fans up with a pretty cool offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at domain.com's checkout. Number five is to turn off heads up notifications. Heads up notifications came to stock Android as a native function baked into Lollipop, but not everyone liked having notifications pop up for every app. With Android M, you'll be able to disable heads up notifications on a per app basis. For example, you're getting too many Gmail notifications and you don't want the notification banner to keep popping up. You'll be able to disable the notification banner for Gmail while keeping your other apps untouched. Of course, you can always enable do not disturb mode and disable all notifications, but if you simply want to avoid getting heads up notifications for apps, you now have have the options to disable them on a per app basis. Now to turn this feature on, head on over to the sound and notifications, go into app notifications, go ahead and select an app and disable peaking. And that's about it. Android M is of course still in beta, so everything that we showed you today could potentially be scrapped. We're still playing around with Android M and if we notice any other major changes, we'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop. Now if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next one.